what is the side effects of withdrawing from marijuana, alcohol, methamphetamines, prescription pills, and caffeine all have in common? Ding, 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 irritability. Now, what do bipolar, depression, <clears throat> as well as brain seizures, and attention deficit disorder all have in common? Ding, 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 irritability. Let's do another one. What does... Smoking, being tired, groggy, you know, being tired or groggy, um, being intoxicated, um, or saying a complicated set of tongue twisters have in common. Stumbling on words. Ding, 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 ding. Or in my case, um, giving, Im you know, impassioned speeches on the spur of the moment. Impromptu passionate impromptu speeches you know what is that gonna do well it's gonna come off I'm gonna I'm gonna have to pause some time stumble on words cuz it's from the top of my dome you know in the few cases where God inspires me what to say which might be the whole time you know on some level I'm sure it is the whole time but when I really feel it strong you know then I, I might not have to work so hard it's kinda I just kinda go with the flow and then the flow is coming from God, and it's that let's go against evil kind of. I'm riding the spirit. I'm riding Haru. When I say I'm Haru, that's the spirit of God. It went inside of me, and I'm manifested it, and I'm ready to kick some fucking ass. You know that's what it is. You know, so when I say it's Osiris, that means you know. I'm not really getting to this too much. I can't explain all the gods and how they apply to my cult ideology, but I'm gonna tell you like this. When I say Osiris, I mean that the good has just died in a very profound way. Evil has fucking taken power, has taken the throne, has risen up in the sky, however you want to put it. And they are about to fucking really start running shit and telling people to do, subjugating, subordinating, all that shit. You understand me? Marginalizing. You know? Downplaying your achievement. You understand me? Baffling you. Confusing you. Having you fucking perplexed, confounded, dumbfounded. You gotta understand that there's two pillars, not just in the gates of heaven, but in the gates of Hades, where Cerebus and the devil himself sit there like Seti, like a fucking bitch. Okay? So you want my explanations for this? My explanations is whether you're talking about reform school, where they want you to reform, to fall in line, whether you're talking about boarding school, or whether you're talking about lining up for class, P.E. class in motherfucking public school, or whether you're talking about Christian school, where they have you fall in a certain order. There's an order in the church, the bishops, the priests, the nuns, okay? Or a military academy. It's all coming from the military industrial complex. Because the people who want to keep society together the most are the military. Believe it or not, those are the people in charge of society who want to keep it together. And the people in charge of the military is Rothschild. It is the hierarchy of the secret society structure. Okay, You may call them the bankers. You may call them the military chief. They may call them their spiritual fucking leader. They may call them the Illuminates of Ra, the Illuminati, the Illuminated Ones, the Enlightened Ones, the Committee of Three Fucking Hundred. Okay? Regardless of what you call them, they exist, and only a dumb son of a bitch who I should shoot, beat up, and shoot again would deny that. A Rockefeller. Oh, who's he? Rothschild, Kissinger, Oppenheimer, who the fuck were they? J.P. fucking Morgan, Carlos Slim, who are these fucking people? What kind of business are they involved in? Who are the Russian mobsters? Mikolov, or where the fuck the guy's name is? All these big metallurgical industries, steel industries, big industries, money. Anything that has material value, the devil, the lord of the material world is after, and his minions stake claim to it on his behalf. That is the purpose of having minions of Satan. 
is to stake claim to that which is yours. God has servants, and like Jesus, who go out and get the sheep, okay? And so does the devil. And the number one thing the devil has claimed to is the material world. And that includes women being naked. And he's going to use that to twist it to make you think that it's important. So if somebody sees your wife naked, you want to kill him. So, so, so you, you go on the beach and you see some guy looking at your girl, you want to do something to him. Where did this anger come from? It came from the material fucking world. And the women are part of that material world. This is material beauty. That's that skin deep beauty. That, that beauty is only flesh deep kind of thing. That is the material beauty that you're looking at. You are a great admirer of fucking Satan. Pat yourself on the fucking back. But in my world, in my world, there is no fucking scum. There is no white devils. There is only good and evil, and evil doesn't make it past the gate. Period. So repent, you idolaters. You sexually immortal motherfuckers, repent. You traitors, you snakes, you heathens. Those who have pr false pride. Those who worship fucking idols. Those who don't believe in God. Those are who are outside the gates of heaven. And you can look it up for yourself in the good motherfucking book. You know what I'm saying? When it, it takes us get an ex-gang member to become the spiritual fucking leader to advise the current gang members, the active gang members, how to comport themselves and behave, and, and, and he ends up advising the entire fucking world because you're all bootlicking scum or sinners in need of guidance. When it takes someone like me to step up to the fucking plate, that's when you know that our society has failed. Our religious leaders have failed. Our system has failed. And now the last resort that God has chosen to come and rise above the devil is me. Chuku Mecca.